Life-Changing Encounters with the Other. This story is by Mind Explorer and comes from Irowit.org, a site dedicated to drug harm reduction and trip experiences. This story is part of a two-part series. If you want to explore some of these stories yourself, we'll have the website linked in the description below. Please like and subscribe to our channel. It really helps us to grow and to share these real-life trippy experiences with more people. Part 2 of 2 I drank the second glass of ayahuasca. I had no idea what was about to happen. While I was waiting for the ayahuasca to take effect, I could hear what sounded like a few dozen dogs right outside of our hut. In Cusco, dogs travel in packs. They aren't confined to the backyards of their owners. They begin to growl, and soon a huge fight broke out between two of the dogs. The intensity of this situation with over a dozen dogs barking and growling at one another made me feel extremely uncomfortable. Then the purge happened, and I was immediately catapulted into the psychedelic realm. I kept on thinking to myself, why did I drink it again? This is too powerful. What is happening to me? Where did the spirits go? Why is the shaman silent? I heard this loud noise, like somebody was turning a knob inside of my head that controlled all of the possible frequencies of sound. I also began to enter these extraordinary visual realms and then immediately forget what happened. Visions were flowing so fast that I couldn't comprehend anything. However, the experience came in waves, and when I was aware enough to think about my situation, I realized that I was experiencing my subconscious. I began to analyze myself, and I felt like I was at the cusp of realizing what a thought was. Then I realized it was a paradox. How can a thought be used to understand what thoughts are? I also had many personal realizations about life, my family, and myself. I understood that our time on Earth was finite. At some point, the dogs stopped fighting, and I became calm again. I laid down, and looked through the roof at one of the stars. At this point, I could understand the dogs. Communication with animals is definitely possible. That sounds really weird. But I could literally understand and empathize, on a deep emotional level, the information that the dogs were conveying in their howls. This sparked profound realizations. I realized that on a fundamental level, all conscious entities were the same. The only difference between our consciousness and the consciousness of dogs were merely different wavelengths within a greater medium. Upon this realization, my vision became engulfed with a white light. The light was so bright and beautiful that I began to uncontrollably cry. I knew that I was experiencing the same white light people describe upon death. It was the source of all consciousness. It was omnipresent, eternal, and about as close to a description of God as you can get. This must be God. I understood how all life and the universe was connected by fractals in the hyperdimensional membrane. I felt like my soul had connected to an ocean made of light, and tears flowed down my cheeks as I saw the entire universe, galaxies and all. I could feel the ayahuasca coursing through my veins. I noticed that I couldn't feel my hands. My body slowly became numb. I accepted God in all of his glory and prayed that I would be safe. There were no entities to guide me this time. Very soon I had no body, I just was. Complete and utter transcendence, but I could still see, which puzzled me, because I had no eyes. I actually began to float out of my body and into the room. I could see my lifeless body laying down with my hands across my chest. I could see the shaman and my two friends. One of my friends was crouched in the fetal position, but there was also this violet light, and it seemed to be coming out of my body. The room was filled with this light. I wasn't scared because I knew that out-of-body experiences are common on ayahuasca, but I never thought it would feel this real. The realization that I had become some sort of hyperdimensional entity freaked me out. What if I never returned to my body? Was I dead? Immediately, I returned back to my body after thinking those thoughts. I was both filled with relief that I was alive and regret that I hadn't gone further into the spirit realm. However, my body was still fairly numb, and raising my hands gave me the sensation of flying through some ethereal realm. Ayahuasca is gentle. The effects just slowly taper off and there's a calm afterglow. I had no desire to return to that realm. I got what I had come for. It's amazing how quickly you forget what the experience was like. Within a few hours, I didn't even have the ability to imagine what I had just felt. 
My strong convictions about the existence of God in spirits declined. But at the same time, I knew that while I was experiencing it, my core self was there. I trust myself, and I trust my judgment, even on ayahuasca. I realized that there is legitimacy in spirituality. Even if God doesn't exist, I know that God is a perception that people have the potential to have. At least the stories aren't completely based in bullshit. I feel like ayahuasca prepares you for death as well. I am no longer afraid of death. We will all eventually die. It takes away the mystery, allows you to at least imagine what the afterlife might be like. What's the point of believing nothing happens after death anyway? It's fucking depressing. Reflecting upon my experience, I am no longer the same person. First of all, the ayahuasca literally did heal me of certain gastrointestinal discomforts that I have had since first grade. I feel much more in touch with my body as well. I no longer drink alcohol. I have absolutely no desire to use drugs for temporary pleasure. I exercise on a daily basis. I feel as if my life actually has a purpose, and I can't waste any time. I need to live in the moment and just have as many experiences as I can. I've never felt more happy and content with my existence. I'm excited about what's to come, about where my life's journey will take me next. There is still so much we have left to learn. We can never forget that. That's it for today's video, guys. We hope you've enjoyed this series of life-changing encounters with the other. If you enjoyed this story or if you have any requests for other crazy drug experiences, please, please leave a comment below and subscribe to our channel. Thanks again for sticking around till the end. See you in the next video. Stay trippy.